Hey, good to watching Video On Demand of our weekly... Oh. For... For all our stream. What is this? I can shoot swords with a gun. I can have them stick. Or explode on impact. I can also have them stick. Pretty wild. Okay, that was that. Um, I think it saves automatically, right? Okay, let's go back to Valhalla. Hello, everyone. Uh, good to see you, Discardius, as always. So, uh, fun fact, it's um, 4 p.m. at our uh, in Europe right now. We had daylight savings, just like I think the U.S. had a few weeks ago. Uh, hey, Ben, good to see you, man. How has it been? Rex, good to see you as well. Thanks, everyone, for joining. We're booting up the game. And, um, like, I don't have an answer, but I was just curious. Maybe someone knows who's watching right now. Where the heck is the year two DLC? I have multiple theories about this, so I want to go over them in this weekly reset stream because even if they're pulling the plug which i don't think they will we're, we will still be here on tuesday i mean at one point i will move on but right now we will be here on tuesday and it's always good to see you here as well the wolf kiss joined as well anthony reisman so yeah where's the year two dlc well we got the dragon knight pack so oh they have the eagle bear tattoo what do i need to do for the eagle bear tattoo yeah i've been playing a lot of other games so that is like my theory number one we're, we're gonna remain up uh optimistic here i personally would not be surprised if they're just waiting just is waiting for the release the cooldown oh wow i still have a lot what do I need to do? Perform kills with your raven. With your raven. So use that ability. Anyone already done this? Raven kills. So stun and then... Okay, we're gonna try that. Raven distraction, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh no, God Gaming Performance says horrible weekly resets. Of course. Hey Raptor, I've seen a lot of your videos and you helped me a lot with them. This is my first life. Keep up the great work, brother. Hey, Akila Cameron, appreciate you a lot. So thanks for the kind words. We're here on our bear Drake. Remember? Okay, let's hear it. For the Drake. We're gonna pull up the volume. Take it away. You bear Drake. Appreciated that. Can you fly? No. Okay. Maybe do does the Raven form count as kill with a Raven? I don't think so, right? That would not be uh, a thing. We're going to another uh, dwarven shelter because I wanna get some other dailies. We have the same ones every week when we pick them up at Reda. So I'm gonna pick up the dailies somewhere else. Then we're gonna go to Reda. Check his. Bad selection, according to good gaming performance. Um, and uh, then do it. HB down to nearly dead. Then Raven Destruction for the counts. Thanks, Discardius. Yeah, I want that Odyssey tattoo. I want that. But yeah, what my optimistic view is, is that they're kind of waiting. They're like, we can drop all our content right now. But everyone is busy. Uh, Tiny Tina's Wonderlands. I know it's not like a... A, a huge overlap, but uh, Elder Ring is still going strong. Dying Light is doing some things here and there. Horizon was, of course, uh, going on. Okay, Lord of Change. See, so we finally have like a different uh, character that we have to kill. A different enemy. Only two dailies, though. So that kind of sucks. But yeah, maybe Reda has more. So we're going to Reda. We're checking the selection. Wait, what's wrong with the game at the moment? Well, nothing is like... It's like not that something is like wrong wrong. But it's just weird. If you know what I mean. I just feel that personally... You want to capitalize on a big moment you had for the game. But instead, they're kind of pushing Dawn of Ragnarok on their own. 
and they're, then they're quiet. We have no words on what the future is. And that makes me kind of worried on one hand. That they maybe are tweaking some things behind the scenes. Or still figuring it out. Because out of nowhere. Or they turned one for Holiday DLC um, into a full game. So maybe that kind of changed things. I already went over that in the previous video. but It's now almost a month. No, okay, not a month. It's like three weeks. Let me real quick check the calendar. The yeah, the Valhalla DLC, Don of Ragnar came out like three weeks ago. It's just weird that we haven't heard a single beep about anything. Okay, do I? Do, does he have more contracts? Okay, so we can only get Kara's challenge at Reda, good to know. And let's sh sh see what he has. Hey, he has a real bear. And a Black Raven armor, which is just the uh, um, the uh, assassin uh, armor that you can already get. Or is the Einar Jar? Is the Einar Jar chest? See, I've been kind of out of the game as well. I've been playing a lot of other games. So uh, we're easing ourselves into it. Mostly challenges will be a year old soon. <laughs> yeah, I mean, those dropped in June. So still be a while. But yeah, I agree. It's weird, right? I don't think that when they launched the Malsu challenges, they thought, okay, we have this huge tease. We're gonna continue that in a year from now. No, I totally think they had plans for it sooner than that. So things changed, and that's why I'm kind of worried and curious. Uh, although, like I said, the game is in a better spot than I think it was before Dawn of Ragnarok. Is this Watch Dogs KNG? Thanks for that weekly question to keep me on my toes. Uh, let's check. No. I I even removed Watch Dogs Legion RIP because uh, they dropped the support for the game. Whoa, it really, oh, wow. The Lord of Change is moving. Come back here, Lord of Change. At any cost. We will come to you. Maybe they are ready to move on to the future AC games. Yeah, but that is... that. I mean, I think we're all ready. I think we're all ready. <laughs> but they did promise us something else. And there are just so many loose ends. Like... It's just weird. We're in a weird position. It's just weird that we at least... That they haven't, like, at least talked about anything. When I had the December presentation for Dawn of Ragnarok... Jose, the post-launch producer. Um, he was like, we will talk about... Uh, we will talk about year two very soon. And that is like five months ago now. So, it's just weird. I, I totally think that things changed. And that's why I think we're in a weird spot. But again, I think... One, one theory is they're just waiting for releases to cool down and then come back with a big plan. Because I would also be kind of disappointed if they, they if they return. I don't want this dragon. Bear. Go back. To mother dragon. Okay, we're just gonna run. We're, we can do this. Or we can fly. We are just gonna fly. And I want to equip the Raven Distraction to uh, get the kills. Uh, for that tattoo. Uh, this. Need this to go on sale already. Again, uh, April 5th? Next week. Uh, or 9th. Soon is when the uh, the Twilight Pack will, uh, will disappear. Or, yeah, from the pre-order bonus. They will likely drop it as a Helix set, I think. But uh, maybe they will wait for it to make it a bit more exclusive. But yeah, that's when I think it might go on sale. And maybe that's when they like want to do like a big blowout or something. But again, I would be disappointed if they come back and they just launch an update with the Mastery Challenges and a festival. And then we hear nothing for a really long time. Because then, like they, they really saved up, you would think. Hey. Huh. A lot of updates. Normally we got a new update every month and a half. 
And now, the, the big update was December in terms of new content. So what have they been doing? They have been saving stuff up because, of course, Dawn of Ragnarok got, was uh, created by a separate team. So... Again, I really hope that it just means that they want to do a big comeback at one point. But it would be cool to just hear that. When Dawn of Ragnarok came out or just before launch. Hey, we have big plans for year two. We're, we're not ready to release them yet. But uh, stay tuned. Nothing. Nothing. Did I already get the opal? I think I did. So we're, we're on to our next objective. How's everyone doing? I'm... I'm on watching Stranger Things 3 at the moment. Did you play the uh, Far Cry mission? For anyone who played the Far Cry mission. Oh damn, I forgot about freaking Raven Destruction. <laughs> uh, I'm so used to just mashing buttons to kill enemies. But we have to actually think now. Which is kind of cool. But yeah, I'm also I'm already kind of... Uh, we're just gonna do this. Eastern will come soon. Yeah, I think that's when they might drop the festival and stuff. I don't know. This game needs to be real build, rebuilt. Well, Justin, that's not gonna happen. That's not gonna happen. They might just, like, release what they already created and walk away. That's totally a possibility. And that's what I'm kind of afraid of. That they had big plans and were like, eh, Donald Ragnarok didn't really do too well. Uh, we have Rift uh, coming soon. Let's just save. Let, let's just focus on other things for now. And uh, yeah, move away from Fallout. It's not worth it anymore. On the other hand, uh, it's not that as if Ubisoft has a lot of other things going for them. And Fallout did reach the $1 billion. $1 billion. First time in the series in terms of revenue. Which is crazy. So, I mean, there are enough people playing at least at one point to maybe uh, convince them to uh, continue. We will see. It just, I just thought it was an interesting angle for this weekly reset. Otherwise, I'm talking about checking new items. And we just saw those new items and they are crap. So, what is happening with the deals? Do you think the sequel to uh, Immortals Feed the Rise is a real possibility? Eon Kov. Um, I actually want to do a return to the Sunday videos very soon. Potentially this weekend or a little later. But uh, if you didn't know, there was a rumor about a big uh, Ubisoft uh, conference they're, they're going to do soon. And one of the titles that they revealed to be there, or that, that, that they revealed is in development... Might be announced there. I think they will save it if it's really like as early as the league suggests. But yeah, that title is Immortals Phoenix Rising 2. Which is kind of crazy. Oh my... Wait a second. Okay, I know what I can do. And this is how the Odin powers are really fun. But to be fair, I would be shocked. Because I do believe the person who leaked this stuff. So I'm now... Does anyone, like, have a... Can I, like, land in this bush here? And now use Raven Distraction on this. Oh. Kill! Ah, I did the wrong. Okay. We're, go we're going up again. We're doing this again. Because I need to kill this, uh, this other <laughs> This should be good. Can I, like, not buy... Why can I not do the raid? <laughs> oh, there it goes. Yeah. Okay, that's one kill. No chance. But... Okay. I don't know. Uh, I think it was very cool. Uh, it was a very fun game. So I hope it's real. I'm, by the way, going to remove my weapon so I knock them out. And then we have way easier kills. I'm doing an assassination. That was not the plan. Hello. 
Okay, we're doing this. Okay, I just want to use my fist and then nuke everyone down. I think that's the plan. Okay, I'm just going... Uh... No! Okay, we can do this. Maybe use Tyrannus, but that might kill them. Ah, this is going well. This is going pretty well. Imagine a Horizon RTS game, strategy game. You mean Machine Strike, the mini game we got in the game. Oh. I have to watch my health. Hitting skill enemies with a fist. Not recommended. But everything for the Odyssey tattoo. Oh, and now I'm fast. Can I use the uh, Raven distraction on these enemies though? That's something I haven't. I think I can. Like this. There it goes. What is it? Oh, wrong target. But I think I can. What do you think about the next Horizon being a strategy game and being completely different? The open world is good, but games like... Yeah, again, I, I, I don't... Because that's like a Halo Wars thing, and I don't think Halo Wars is like doing well. I think the strategy is like a completely different genre, so I don't see why they would do it. But yeah, the Horizon multiplayer game, that's something I can totally see happen. And there were like, starting this week, there were like three rumors for Sony. Damn, it's gonna take a while. But yeah, we're fast. Whoop, whoop, bop, boom. I'm gonna do more. Can I have like fire? Fist? But yeah, they didn't, then they will die for me. The other first giant is like. I can better knock them out, but yeah, that's... Then I have to do this. So we're gonna try that. You don't have to knock them out to kill them with the Raven, just get their health really low. Yeah, but it makes it really easy. Because I can now just aim at this enemy. And then get the kill. Yeah, if I can use it in combat anyways. What the heck? Okay, the raven is like finding its own target, which kind of sucks. Okay, we're gonna return to the... Um oh. uh, just to be safe, I want to use like another weapon. room where you just hit real fast is that the odin gear yeah i, I use two pieces uh, because then you have the best uh okay now raven yeah but do ah raven you disappoint me okay, let's do some damage but uh yeah with two pieces you can already uh have best effect going which kind of nice okay the cooldown is kind of crazy though <laughs> yeah this should be good enough what the heck do i need more ability damage okay okay Wish you could sort it on like ability damage. That would be nice. But we had the we have the the, so the shield that you get from doing the first ten missions of Reda. This one. Uh, that should already help. I'm open for a Horizon patch tomorrow. Yeah, me too. I I'm really curious if they're gonna. Okay, this guy's almost dead. Just waiting for the. Okay. How about you? Okay, you need a few more hits. Okay.
Yeah. Yes, they should be good. But Okay, that's two kills. Eight to go. Okay, we got another very low one. This one is still could use a few hits. Is that good enough? Yeah, it's kind of weird that they skipped the uh, Horizon patch yesterday. So, and with like Sony rumors going on, like we just had the PlayStation Plus Spartacus. Oh wow! I'm doing way too much. Goodbye. Maybe I should just hit like. This. Like maybe they are planning a bigger patch. That's why they didn't do a patch uh, last week. I'm kind of hoping that. But that's another game where I'm like, are you guys going to do something or or not? They did not announce it though. With Ubisoft and Valhalla, it's different. They already announced that Dawn of Ragnarok would kickstart year two. But we haven't seen anything regarding that. Okay, I want to do my dragon distraction. So please, please. Ability damage won't affect this ability. Is that noted in the... That was another kill, by the way. Is that noted here? Check for the Holy Knight pack. I don't think it's there yet. We had the Dragon uh, pack, of course, last week. But yeah, the Holy Knight pack feels kind of meh as well. I, I do think I need an, another hit, though. So let's hit it with the shield. Come here, shield attack. Okay, that only deals like a few. It's still pretty strong. Okay, I do think I'm able to kill this one though. I do need adrenaline. Uh... Okay, I, I know something. They're, they're getting very annoying. They're getting very annoying. We have to get some adrenaline. But yeah, they keep moving. I do think I will kill them. 400 damage. I, I did get three bars from that. Can I, like, kill these? No. There's just one, one left. I do think I can kill. I'm afraid, though, that I need more. Let's see. 50 damage. I do think I, I need a bit more of that. Sargon shop, Dennis as always. Tomb of the Fallen Part 2. Like, stuff like that. You would think that it is already, like, done or something. They're just sitting on it. I don't know. The stuff in the extra tier is really appealing to me. So I'm just... It's not really appealing to me. So I'm just taking to the PS Plus tier 1. Yeah, Tailgate, same here. So if you missed it, they're they're doing three. Yeah, I don't think ability damage is impacting it, like you said. Are they gonna abandon Falla? Adam, I don't think so, but the silence is kinda like weird. I, I just wish they would at least say something. Unless they plan like a big comeback. Like I think at this point they're kinda building it. Anticipation. Okay, we got another kill. 50 damage. And just finish them off. Get some adrenaline. Okay, and uh, get the opal. I'm going around uh, getting all the locations before I do the rest of the story. And I'm still running around with a dual spear with no issue. I mean, dual spear is just OP, so sure, it's it's more like you have to change it to make the game more fun. Kind of switch things up. 
Okay, uh, we did a red ass things, but well, except for the uh, car challenge, which I will do in a moment. Let's look at the time. Um, but yeah, we want to get some. Uh, we want to get uh, more kills. So I think I need five more. So I think I just go to a camp and then uh, get it there. Or can you like probably get it in the arena as well? Should be possible, right? Maybe we can like combine it with cars challenge. Did I not claim this weapon yet? I think I already did, but of course sometimes that's bugged. Five more kills. We can probably do that in the arena. So let's go to the arena. Get uh, the Reda challenge and also the extra or the uh, tattoo. Hey Michael D, good to see you as always. Seems like they've already. Seems like they already have after the DLC. David Rhyme says, thoughts on the future of Far Cry 6? I think that's... I think it's over now. I, uh, I really think they here. waited for the... Um, for the uh, sort of deal they had with Stranger Things. Because the same time they dropped the trailer and announcement for the season pass... For the Stranger Things content and mission. Which was a ton of fun, by the way. They also... Uh, they also um, dropped like screenshots or not screenshots. I mean, it's how you want to call them, but like photos of season four for Stranger Things. So I think they just had this deal going and they could not launch that mission that they probably had already finished before that. I mean, they did push forward the Joseph C DLC. They did add a lot of quality of life features. Like that's the only reason why I think they might want to do more. But with them repeating Lola and not being really, like, um, interactive with the community at all, I think it's over. I think uh, Far Cry 6 is done. And that we get a FOSS uh, Far Cry 6.5 game announcement in the summer. With then maybe a release at the end of the year or in uh, early 2023. That's my theory. And I want to still do a video about that as well. I have to, like, kind of change my gear because otherwise... We're going in uh, naked. At least it will feel like that. Um, so yeah, I'm going for the uh, for the new X, which I kind of like. And uh, that's it. And yeah, we're gonna of course rock that uh, Let's Raven distraction. Let's see if we can do both. Oh, this by the way, interesting. So every time I Let's close the menu, it's a different challenge because first it had three schools. Uh so I really think that if I just try uh this. It will at one point have one. Here, now it has three skulls again. <gasps> this is so weird. And now it has two skulls. Okay, we're gonna do two skulls. I haven't played Far Cry 6 yet, but I decided to watch Stranger Things so I could have understood the references in the crossover movie. I mean, there are totally references. I think it actually does a great job at selling the Stranger Things universe. I really would not be surprised, and this might sound crazy, that... You res that after this mission, they're like, okay, you did a great job. Please make a Stranger Things game. Because Netflix is going into the gaming scene as well. And maybe... See, I can't... I, I don't think I can do it. Oh, wait. I don't have the right... Uh... Can we, I cannot, like, change... Does anyone have the useful power? Coming. Maybe I can then use that to become. There's like one like target that has like a, not a lot of damage. Okay. Hit one more time. Okay, careful. Now if I do this, can I then? Oh no. Okay. During re yeah, during the. Okay. Then we have to finish this. Push back, push back. I don't want to fight. Ah! That's I want. That's what the Where did she come from? Played the Far Cry free, free weekend and I got very impressed. It's very good. Almost nothing like five. That was super boring to me. Yeah, uh, it's also my favorite Far Cry, or at least in the recent years. I I, I like five as well, but six. 
yeah, it felt like a really good Let's game. The only issue with it is that story. it just is more of the same. So if you played all the Far Cry games and are kind of over that formula, then six is not gonna change anything for you. Okay, we're so we just have to like quickly get through this one. But yeah. Always having trouble every week with the weather challenge. I also think it's because I'm just like only coming back now for this weekly challenge, and I want to change that. But I also feel that like, that will happen when they hopefully try to breathe some new life into the game. We have to be careful because at one point. When we're like fighting this lady, the they other lady no will already come. You, more oh, yeah, I think with she you. is already here. Right? Or? There she is. Hello. I'm not gonna fall for that again. Focus on one. I think that's smart. Yeah. Power attack and boom, you move that way. I'm gonna. Okay, she's using the Ed Gear parry attack, the left hand attack. A true Draco to what face there. Do. Okay, that's that. I do wish I had the power of reboot, so I think I'm wasting that. Away. The enemy is over there. Oh wow, we got all the health back, that's great. I don't like that. Moving, healing, or just like chilling. fireballs. Call and strike. Damn! They, did they nerf the amount of? I don't think they changed anything, but it really feels that my rations heal even less than before. Okay, we got a gun attack going. Okay, doing some nice AoE versus all the muscle soldiers there. Stay away. And I just need one headshot to get like three adrenaline swap back. There we go. Okay. Okay, she's kind of dead. Lightning striking down on my position as well. I think we got it. Your skill and I won. And so victory was that was that. Woo. As it ever shall be. Primal had the most unique setting in the series. I agree. And and also for like a game where um, which was basically Far Cry 4.5, it really felt like a different game. While it was still the same map. And with New Dawn, they did not try to hide it anymore. And I, I don't think they will with the 6.5 game. Here. They will likely do. Okay, so we got the, the, the Opal. We got the challenge. Let's now try and get more of these freaking kills. To get the tattoo. Maybe Game Plus definitely need it, but I doubt they will implement it. Yeah, I mean, it was never like a firm, yes, we're going to do it. It was always like a... At the end of the life cycle, we're gonna do it. But I, I'm just uh, like, at one point, if that is like the biggest request from everyone, why not just do it? And then, or yeah, I don't know. But the whole post launch has been weird. I really think if we look back, they, they had some cool moments. You totally saw that they had way more resources. 
but that they that, that it somehow still was uh, yeah less exciting in the end sadly but that was also because kind of the false start they had in terms of having to fix a lot be before actually area. working on new content hello can I like knock you down okay we're gonna just try and fight them Having the uh, nightmare enemy scaling also doesn't really help. 50 damage. I do think that that is this. So I hope this soldier now gets killed. There we go. That's six kills. We got another one. Let's try and do it like this. I do think I will... Just uh, uh, some tinkling here. Okay, now we got her if my uh, abilities are full down. Going well. I just played them fall the other day. Well, congrats, streaming wits. That's pretty crazy. Still need to do it myself. But really, like, when I was, like, playing a lot around lunch, mostly spent on, like, farming runes and other stuff. Get, uh, finding fun playstyles, although there weren't a lot of options. There we go. I was already kind of like, oh, I don't know if I can do every single dot on the map. That's why I like Odyssey, where they weren't forcing you to complete every location. They just said, okay, do only the, the, the locations. Uh, underwater and, yeah, of course, a lot of the activities. But not every location like in Orchids, which was also just too much. Think I need one more hit just to be safe. Please don't die. Please don't be a crit. Okay, it was a crit, but oh! Wow, I, I can't even see your health. Okay, we're gonna fight you. They are so tanky. Thanks a lot for your donation. The next time you have an interview with any of the Valhalla members, can you ask if the uh, ask if we will receive the Cassandra outfit from the crossover? That's a good question. Yeah, I think it was totally. I I, I wanted to because I first thought that um, that the year two and Dawn of Ragnarok was like kind of a thing together like that they were going to push both things together which of course wasn't the case because Don of Ragnarok is out but we have no word on year two which kind of the angle here of the stream I already like Bruno was like maybe available for an interview it was like he might be there but we're not sure and then I send in like a huge list of all year two questions just about like the, the free content, when it will start, will the cadence change, etc. Uh, combat with Hudon, etc, etc. Not about the Cassandra outfit, so I will add that to my ever-growing list. I don't think he will die. Ah! 51 damage. I was like, just to be, uh, I don't know. Okay, we have more enemies there. There are more enemies here, I know it. Let's see if there are more praise for my dragon. Okay, we have three more enemies. I think I need three more kills. So if we only do these, it should be good enough. But yeah, I will totally ask that, KK, and thanks for the uh, for the donation. Oh, hit him late. Doing the work. This should be enough. Yes, that was enough. I think we need only two more kills for the beautiful Odyssey back tattoo. I mean, I've, is that the final one? Wh which one do we still need? I kind of lost track. I kind of lost track. Does anyone know which back tattoo we still need? Because they've been doing all the games, of course. I think they're all doing all the mainline games. So at one point... Okay, I think that's... I only need one. That's gonna be you. Please drop on the ground. 
Okay, and now I think I'm gonna finish him. Okay, the big guy is rolling. Is it, did I kill him? Oh, I see. I think it's gonna be really, really interesting. We can, like, at least kill these enemies. Or get them down so if the other one dies. Yeah. Oh, oh this save is dead. Okay. This should be enough. Huh? Oh. Okay, we got an ingot. The Outfender also with a donation there. Appreciate you as well. Thanks a lot. Well, let's now finish everyone off here. Oh. Skill 2 with 1 ability. Oh wow, I pushed the explosive guy towards them. That's kind of cool. They keep spawning as well, I think, because of the... Why are you doing these bird kill things? It's for the Odyssey tattoo. I've oh yeah, I've done like three locations all gold, but I'm not pushing myself through that pain. I will take my time. Oh yeah. Push you! Oh, I pushed him off the bridge. That's nice. Okay, you can go away, you're annoying. You just have to focus on this. Flamekeeper reviving, summoning these uh, explosive moose balls. More enemies left. Okay, I think that's it. Ah uh, no, yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't care. Okay, we're gonna check if we have the freaking tattoo. Uh oh, connect. Just joined. What did I miss, Patrick? You missed the fact that uh, we killed some people for the... Um, or people? Mythical soldiers. Ah! Oh, yeah. It's, the, it's, it, it's part of the list. I'm gonna do it like this, by the way. Claim. 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 Oh, wow. I got the rogue tattoo as well. Brotherhood. Yeah! Eagle bear tattoo. Yay! Thank you. I mean, there's still a lot of people playing if the river raid is like almost finished, which is kind of crazy. Uh, okay, and now we're going to uh, put on that tattoo at the tattoo shop. Please don't spam Thor. You're getting a timeout. Goodbye. There were a couple le leaks of the uh, Moosepool concept art leak last year, right? Yeah, I, I I, mean, there are still rumors for a... Uh, I mean, rumors. I mean, I don't know if you finished Donald Ragnarok. It teases a fourth DLC. Wait, what was that third game you last played on your game games list? Uh, on Ubisoft Connect? It's just dance showing up. No, it can't be just dance. Oh, it's Rainbow Six Extraction. I tried it. I was like, what What are they doing? No, I was just curious. But I do think it's kind of dead already, which is sad. But yeah, it's... I'll be with you shortly. Kind of there. Uh, what, what's kind of happening with Ubisoft? They have a hard time uh, getting people uh, excited again for their games. Okay, so we have a back tattoo. Okay, and now I will never see it because I'm always wearing an armor. But thanks for the tattoo. Hope you had a good time watching. It was kind of a yeah, random weekly reset. 
I did have a good time. I will keep you posted. Like, when we know more about future stuff, I do think that April is the month that we will at least see something. If we n d do not see, like, any, like, word on year two content in the next couple of weeks, I don't know. That's gonna be... That, that would be crazy. Will there be, like, river raids with abilities from Dawn of Ragnarok? I hope so, Motan. But that's also, like, kind of the issue, which I talked about in my previous video as well. Because not everyone has Dawn of Ragnarok, there are, like, two pools, groups of players. And I think all the free content, so all the updates we're probably getting in year two, most of them at least, will be without the Odin powers. Will be just in England, just be the same stuff we did before. While we know how fun these Odin powers are, it's just a, a bit, yeah, I don't know, it, it, it just kind of complicated uh, with, uh, yeah, how they did choose to do things. But I get it, like they wanted to add money for the DLC as well, but that does make this year two plan kind of weird. But yeah, I hope you had a good time and uh, see you soon. Goodbye. Oh, we have the Avenger with a final donation there. Don't you think it would make more sense if they could add another DLC as a sequel to Donald Ragnarok's storyline within this DLC? Yeah, I, I personally think uh, what, what you're saying, uh, I, I personally think that makes a lot of sense. I, I think because they did not have something in the early uh, part of this year and they're kind of struggling with Far Cry not really doing well and... Um, Rainbow Six Extraction, which seems already dead. Um, Rainbow Six Siege is still doing well, but it's ne not as big as it once was. But they were like looking at Valhalla and like, maybe we can get a lot of money from this by just asking way too much money for the DLC, but it really backfired. Um, but yeah, that's why, because I asked the, um, I asked the um, creative director on Donald Ragnarok, Will there be more realms where we can use these powers? And he said, trick question. Uh, and was kind of vague about it. He kind of teased that there might be more. And yeah, that's probably the DLC. And again, at the end of this one, without spoiling anything, it does tease another DLC. Which they might be already working on. Otherwise, I don't think they can release it like in the next few months, in the summer maybe. So yeah. I do think we will get that, but I do think that in retrospect it would have been better to just say year two season pass, Dawn of Ragnarok and whatever the other DLC will be in one for $40, that would have been way better and I don't know, it would be really bad if they drop another DLC for another $40, I don't think they can get away with it. So thanks uh, everyone and I'll see you soon. It's very dark as well here, but yeah.